Okay, hello guys, uh, welcome to day two of my development log of my uh, 3D zombie survival game. I'm going to start making this a weekly thing, so instead of uploading what I've done daily, I'll upload weekly, uh, simply because I can't get enough done in a day to warrant making a video every day. Uh, so I'll work hard during the week and upload a progress report at the end of the week. Uh, since I've already started this now, I may as well make one for the day. Uh, this is the day's work. Was I didn't have long after I got in from work, but it was making these uh, class blueprints instead of using the level blueprint like I have done over here. So we just hop into the game. Uh, this door opening is actually, and this door opening, they're both level blueprints, which means if I wanted to replicate them, I'd have to copy and paste all the code and copy and paste the the door uh, class the door group. <sighs> Sorry about that, it's been a long day. Um, yeah, which isn't good. Uh, I was watching some tutorials last night and I found out about class blueprints and I uh, did a bit of research on that, which is how I came up with this thing. Um, so what having this as a class bl blueprint allows me to do is just drag and place as many of them as I want and the code is bound to the item, to the uh, actor, as opposed to the world. Um, basically object oriented programming so the code belongs to the actor and uh, you can have as many of those running at once as you want um, as opposed to the code belonging to a world and then you having to have um, I'm trying to think what the word for it now is instead of having to like copy and paste your world you just have place as many actors as you want and they should all work together and then editing one edits all of them so if I wanted all of the doors to open slower I could go into the blueprint code and do that so yeah that's what I've learned today from this um... <laughs> it doesn't like that at all <coughs> so yeah what we've basically got is I started making I added a landscape to the building the building I was really just following a tutorial and trying to get used to Unreal's lighting engine um, which is fantastic, by the way. Uh, yeah, so I added, need to add a skybox to this so that the world isn't just black and obviously add something more to the landscape other than just a flat gla uh, grass field. Um, but really, I just built this place to test out lighting. Um, I think by Sunday, I'd like to have zombie AI in the game. Uh, some kind of uh, character model so maybe not moving your feet but perhaps a gun in front of your hand that you can see um, maybe a, a character shadow so that I'm not just some floating orb thing like I am at the minute um, but yeah I hope to get that done as well as add the most basic form of AI uh, by Sunday and then I'll if I get all that done I'll record another video uh, show off some class blueprints and possibly even upload everything as a project to Google Docs so that you can um, so that you can download this if you want to try it out yourself and take bits of my code and add it to your own code uh, but for now basically that was just showing the class blueprint of the door which is in action up here this door is a class blueprint the door to the balcony I'm not too sure how well zombies are going to work with them because at the minute they look uh, the blueprint only looks for the player interacting with them so perhaps I can use that those doors as some kind of um, safe haven mechanism so only the player can open it but obviously in the full game I would like zombies to be able to smash these doors down uh, so I'll have to take a look into um, giving them a variable for health and then having zombie attacks remove a certain amount of that variable and then when the variable hits zero or below then to remove the door so that the zombies can come through uh, but that all will be in the advanced AI basic AI, I just want to be able to place a zombie here say and then just have um, him chase me if I'm over here but yeah, so I'd like to add arms like this guy has, I'm not sure why he has them oh yeah I changed them to not visible on me so I need to add them and then I need to edit them so they don't look so shit 
and then edit the bullets so that they're not just some cheesy bouncy ball thing. Um, yeah, I guess that's all for for today, and I'll see you again on Sunday.